Okay, class, we have a very special visitor today, Susie Squid. She will tell us all about seizures and epilepsy. Hi, everyone. My name is Susie, and I work with the local Epilepsy Association. I'm here to talk to you about a medical condition that affects many children and adults. It is called epilepsy. It's a condition that affects the brain. Did you know that different parts of your brain control different parts of your body? For example, does anyone know what 5 plus 5 is? 10! That's correct. You just used the front of your brain. When you raise your hand, you use this part of your brain. If you're looking at me, you are using this part of your brain. If you're listening, you are using this part of your brain. Every day, you use many different parts of your brain. In your brain, there are things called neurons. They send electrical signals to each other. The brain then tells your body what to do. But for people who have epilepsy, sometimes the neurons will send a mixed signal to a part or all of their brain. When this happens, it causes the person's body to do things they can't control. We call that a seizure. If someone has more than two seizures starting in the brain, we call that epilepsy. Over 50 million people in the world have epilepsy. They can be adults, girls, boys, family members, or friends. There are different types of seizures and different types of epilepsy. I am going to teach you about one common seizure called a tonic-clonic seizure. A tonic-clonic seizure causes a person with epilepsy to stiffen and shake. When a person has this type of seizure, they can't hear, see, speak, remember, or feel pain. It usually lasts for one, two, or three minutes. And afterwards, although the person will feel tired, they will be back to normal. Do you know what to do if someone has a tonic-clonic seizure? No problem, I can teach you some easy steps to help someone having a tonic-clonic seizure. Step 1. Stay calm. If a seizure happens, you should look for an adult. Who is an adult you would let know if you saw someone at school having a seizure? A teacher. Correct. Step 2. Put something soft under their head. Can anyone tell me something soft you could put under the person's head? A sweater or a coat. A sponge. Excellent. That would help keep the person's head safe. Next is step 3. We would help keep them safe. That means we would turn them on their side, move anything harmful out of the way. We don't hold them down and we don't put anything in their mouth. Don't worry, the person can't swallow their tongue. The last step is the most important. Time to see how long a seizure lasts. Most people living with epilepsy have seizures that are only a couple of minutes and they don't need to go to hospital. But if a person has epilepsy and the seizure lasts more than five minutes, then we take them to hospital to make sure they are okay. After a seizure, it's always kind to wait with your classmate until they wake up. They won't remember what happened, so you just have to let them know they had a short seizure and they are okay. Wow, now we've learned about epilepsy seizures and what to do if someone has a seizure. Class, do you think you would know what to do if someone had a tonic-clonic seizure? Can we remember the steps? Yes. yes! Stay calm and get an adult. Put something soft under their head. Keep them safe. Turn them on their side. Step four, and the most important, time it. If it is more than five minutes, then the person needs to go to hospital. Thank, Thank you, Susie. Susie.